Overfishing. Overfishing diminishes a fishery to where too many adult fish are caught and not enough can replenish a population and leads to an overall degradation of a system. People partake in overfishing all across the world, both non-commercially and commercially. Fishing fleets are the boat vessels used to commercially fish and are presently two to three times larger than what they should be to where an ocean can sustainably support the amount of fishing being done. On a global scale, we have enough fishing capacity to cover four Earths. The main question at hand is why overfishing is a problem. But before you can answer that, you have to look at what causes overfishing. Bottom trawling is a commonly used method of overfishing that uses huge nets weighed down with anchors on the boats that are dragged along the seafloor, proceeding to catch and crush anything in the net, from fish to coral. Other species, including endangered species, are often caught, and as they weren't wanted, they are thrown back and die in the ocean. These are called discards, which make up an, a total number of 80 to 90 percent of the catch. Anything on the seafloor, such as reefs for habitats, are crushed underneath these heavy nets. Bottom trawling nets leave permanent damage on the seabed such as long scars that can be up to four kilometers long. These nets also stir up sediment, causing toxic water unable for species to live in. Destroying these seabeds proves severely futile, as the seabed ecosystems indicate large areas of biodiversity in the oceans. Seabeds are home to a vast number of species that grow slowly and are vulnerable to disruptions in their environment. Bycatch represents all the marine life caught unintentionally while catching targeted fish. Whether it be that they're the wrong size of target species, this species is not eaten or marketed for, or they're an endangered species. Tons of species a year are thrown back, injured, or dead. Some animals are also disregarded because that boat is not licensed to bring that specific species on land. There is no space on the boat, or it is decided by a higher power to not fish for that species. Bycatch makes up 40% of global catches. It is also bad as it represents a humongous waste of food for both human and marine life. Another harmful method uses poison and explosives in both fresh and salt waters. This method has been around for many, many years, and the explosives create large craters in the seafloor, killing target fishes and also any surrounding organisms and reefs. It also ruins habitats for any other organisms who live there or future organisms as well. The negative effects of poison have increased since plant-based substances used on the reefs have been replaced by chemical poisons. One of the least direct but most adverse results of overfishing is called ghost fishing. This describes any left-behind fishing materials or nets that, even out of use, can easily continue to trap fish, shellfish, and even large marine animals. This leads to death by exhaustion, suffocation, and struggle to surface for mammals. This issue has been augmented with the introduction of nets made from longer-lasting synthetic materials. Now the main question to be answered on this topic is why overfishing is such a big problem. One of the biggest topics and issues regarding overfishing describes the conservation of biodiversity in the oceans. Biodiversity describes the variety between all species and organisms, whether they be plants, animals, or the ecosystems they are part of. Biodiversity is an extremely essential component to Earth and all the organisms coexisting on it. With a lack of biodiversity, it would negatively affect all organisms. 
Biodiversity provides many goods and services for the environment and its organisms, such as clean air, fresh water, and food products. As mentioned before, one of the most common types of fishing that leads to overfishing is bottom trawling, which drags a net along the seabeds, which destroys the seabeds drastically. As seabeds are the home to a huge variety of different species in the oceans, destroying the seabeds essentially destroys their habitat, which kills off many species. This not only decreases the total number of animals in the ocean, but also limits the different variety of species that live in the waters as well. Killing off these organisms, whether it be by destroying their homes by bottom trawling, or directly killing them by bycatch, lowers the rate of reproduction among organisms. When all these different types of species are killed off, there are less mates for other organisms to mate with, and therefore, certain organisms can't pass on their specific traits, and therefore decreases biodiversity. When the smaller organisms and fish die, it also affects the bigger animals too, as the predators are losing valuable prey they feed on. With a lack of biodiversity, humans are in risk of losing valuable food source, dependent on for social, economical, and or dietary reasoning. Conserving biological diversity proves many threats to our ecosystems, but Relating to overfishing, the biggest one is the deterioration in casualties on the habitats in the ocean. It's like a chain reaction. As the habitats are destroyed, smaller organisms are destroyed, which not only affects humans but affects bigger predators in the oceans as well. So how can we stop this? As a more global approach, fisheries should have to follow a basic set of rules. First of all, there should be a certain maximum number of fish a fishery can catch. When fishing, there should be a certain approach developed so that non-target organisms aren't caught to limit the amount of bycatch in oceans. Forms of protection for seabeds and ecosystems should be mandatory before fishing on those grounds, and any undiscovered areas should be explored beforehand. Also, monitoring systems should be enforced as many fishing vessels will enter forbidden fishing areas in hopes to cheat economically to their benefit. Although this is all important, one of the biggest things we can do to help is plan a call to action. The first thing you can do is get informed and read into the issues of overfishing. You can gain knowledge on the food you're eating to make sure that the food you are eating is safe to eat and has a lower impact on the oceans. The last and one of the biggest things you can do is spread the word to others around you. Let others know the issues that may not be as obvious. If we do this and make sure everyone knows about the issues at hand and how they can help, we can help replenish the oceans and the millions of diverse species that live in it.